Did you find a dog psychic? Yeah, we did. Where we did, did you look for that? Uh, it was actually a recommendation from one of the writers on The Good Place. And uh, I was like, all right, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll try it. Okay, so you went into it skeptical. Yeah, yeah. And? I, I, I was wrong. Um, I mean, <laughs> basically, he was like flinching every time I reached to pet him. And, uh, and so we had this appointment and she, you know, she, she called it. We had like, been taking him to vets and everything. They couldn't figure out what was wrong with him. And she said, like, he seems to be having some trouble in his neck. And so we, uh, we took him back to the vet and said, like, can you just x-ray his neck and back for us? And they're like, well, we don't think anything's wrong, but yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. And then they found that he has a herniated disc. And so, I mean, I had to check my little skepticism at the door. Is it true? that you are also not necessarily a romantic, which is crazy because you met your lady, Ali, during a production of Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, well, Which we, is like the most romantic yeah, yeah. story <laughs> ever told. Yeah, so like what happened was um, <laughs> we, we had known each other for a while. And oh, so I, you were friends first. We were friends first, and we met when we were with other people, and you know, we- Understood. Was, yeah. <laughs> See? It works, doesn't it? So I, I was already cast as Romeo in this thing, and they were looking for Juliet, and I asked if she had a gig for the summer, and she was like, no, I don't. I'm like, well, do you want to audition for this thing that I'm doing? And she was like, yeah, sure. And she went in, she killed it, she got it, and then we, uh, it, you know, it, that was that. And then you fell in love. That was that, yeah. So now are you a little bit more of a softie? You know, I'm 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 soft with with her, and you know, like we're definitely I, I reserve softness for her, but otherwise I'm you know I, I can be a bit of a cynic sometimes, and she sort of like kind of shakes that out of me. Um, so I'm I'm glad that you do have that romance in your life because you deserve that. Aww. I'm so happy for you. Um, okay, we have a clip of your um, role in Ant Man and the Wasp: uh, Quantum Mania. Let's take a look, and then we'll get into it. How, do you, how did you know that? He's Quaz. He's a telepath. You can read minds? Yeah, and I really wish I couldn't. Everyone is disgusting. Hmm. Could you please stop thinking that? Sorry. Please stop. Thinking? No, thinking that. I'm trying. Well, not very hard, and I think you look weird, too. You play Quaz. This is, you know, MCU. This is as big as fandom gets. How are you feeling about the movie? How do you like the fans? What's it like being a part of this world? It's, I mean, it, it, it's kind of a dream come true for me. I mean, I'm, I'm such a geek for these movies. I've, so you I've, are an MCUer. Are you a oh, fan? Yeah. Yes, I am. I am. <laughs> because it's exciting. I mean. The, like, when I was growing up, I would see people, like, sleeping on the street uh -huh. in, in backpacks and, and sleeping blankets. Yeah. And it's like they would be lining up yeah. for... I love you. I would, they would be lining up for, like, Star Wars, mm -hmm. you know? And it was my first glimpse into the way people felt about films. That's why I feel so excited for the MCU world because I feel like it's how I grew up and the impressions it left on me were so positive. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. and you are Quaz. Yeah. Um, now, Quaz is also very close to Quasar. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I, I've seen those. Conspiracy theories. I, um, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know what they have planned for this character. And so, if they have more plans for Quaz, I'm down, obviously. But you know, like it is, it is, it is what it is. Like I'm happy to just have this. You know, what an exciting time. Yeah. It is. Well, thank you, William Jackson Harper, Ant Man and the Wasp. Quantum Mania is in theaters now, but you all know that.